Well, hello. I need to explain something to people, you know, the people that are sending me emails and through um, YouTube. The heater, this in this uh, my heater. I'm using a lighter connector. This modification is not UL, and it's illegal for me to show you because it's not safe. These parts are from China, as you can see, but they work. This is using the C. This right here, we got the charge being charged through the wall. So if the power went out and it's only temporary, you can have this running this heater that's modified with this element inside of it. I use the actual motor; it's 12 volts. But it's it's you have to customize it to fit inside the chassis, and you have to um cut wires out and resolder them into, you know, support of the energy change. You're taking the, uh, the um, a actual AC outlet Oops. and making it into 12 volts. This is 12 volts modified. I modified myself. And I'd like to apologize if anybody was in, in the impression that this came from factory like this. The, I bought the heater from, you know, I changed the modifications inside of the heater to coincide for what I needed. And it was just the experimentation when I got into the habit of doing it. And I made videos showing this heater with this 12 volts. I didn't think that nobody really, you know, was going to pay it no mind, but, you know. But then I looked into the research of laws and stuff. I cannot suggest anything. I can tell you, you do it at your own risk. I apologize if you assume for it that these are made from factory like this. This is not made from the factory like this. With the um, auxiliary battery I'm using. This, all these modifications are something that I've been doing for a couple years, experimenting on. But um, I showed it for many videos for many for a long time, and now that we're coming into this crisis where we need low energy heaters, you know, and now everybody want to know how to modify their heater so they can run off of 12 volts. This heater can run off of so you see what it's doing. It's 20. It is working. I use it for my animal, for my um, rabbit that's just her cage on the floor. She don't like being in the air. And I made it so she can stay warm, you know, during the cold months. And when she sits near the door, so I use the heater. She stays up near it, and it's low energy. So my power bank powers it for about 12 to 13 hours. And I have another one to take its place. And modify, you know, use it for about 12, 13 hours to 14 hours. My bigger one will run 24 hours and 30 hours with two of them, two of these modified heaters, you know, to heat the area up. It was just something I was just creating in case of a, like emergency backup because we, we never know when the power is going to go out or we go to war or something. I was designing something just to, you know, as a backup. I think I created about 15 different one of these heaters like this. And I showed them through the videos. But what I forgot to explain that these were my creations, not bought from the store. So you could go on Amazon and buy these, but a lot of things Amazon is not able to sell or you can't get from the same people no more. So, you know. You have to do your experiment. i like to say thank you for your support. And God bless. And if you have any questions, just send me, you know, email. I'm, I'm busy right now on electronic problems. And I've been, I'm working a full-time job, so it's hard for me to get back. But I will try to get back. Thank you for your, your patience. Thank you. And have a nice day. God bless.